Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I cover a bit about lifestyle but I mostly talk about personal finance and investments. In this video, I'm granting a request from one of you guys asking me to do a step-by-step -step withdrawal process from GoTrade. Now, I don't typically do these detailed videos, but this viewer pointed out to me that parts of my previous videos were contradicting because initially, I had some apprehensions about the GoTrade withdrawal process. So I said, fair enough, I think there are a few things that I could share with you to make the withdrawal process from your GoTrade account a little easier. So are you guys ready? Let me get my phone and let's go. Okay, so let's open the GoTrade app. Keying in my PIN. From the home page, click on the second icon from the right so this section would already be familiar to you since this is where you would have gone to file your request to make your deposit. For this time, we are taking our money, so we click on Withdraw from GoTrade. On the next page, this is where we will enroll our bank account, so we click on Add New Account. Of course, if you're watching this from abroad, you would have different banks that are localized to your country. So here we click on the bank where you have an account in. On the next page, you are asked to enter your bank account number. I would advise that you key in your account number in its 12-digit form. In case you're used to giving out your bank account number in its last 10 digits, then I suggest that you lead with two zeros at the front just to make sure that you're keying in your account number in a 12-digit form. On the next page, it now says, enter the name of your bank account. And this is just as important as the previous part. The default bank account name displayed here would be the name that you registered on the GoTrade profile. From my end, the displayed name was actually not my bank account name. Reason being is that GoTrade only gets your first name and your last name. If you're Filipino, you probably have a second first name which is even different from your middle name. So I have my first first name, my second first name, my middle initial, and my last name as my bank account. So as mentioned here, you cannot change this. You would have to contact GoTrade to be able to change your registered name. It says here that you should email support at heygotrade.com. And sharing with you the experience that I had when I did this in November of last year, I chatted with GoTrade customer support at 9 a.m. After a series of emails, customer support did change my name, but my middle name was still listed in full. And in my bank account, only my middle initial is displayed. So I had to change that again. After a series of 8 emails that we exchanged, this was finally resolved at 4.30 p.m. of the next day. So more or less the entire process was just a little over 24 hours. I actually think that GoTrade's customer support is quite knowledgeable. So it was very easy communicating with them and I did not encounter any problems nor delays whatsoever. Now that your registered name and your bank account name are all correct, you can now proceed. Add account. And this is the final page where you get to see, are your details correct? Because again, if you mess up on this, you might be facing some penalty charges. Click on send to this account. On the next page, this is where you will be keying in the amount that you would like to be withdrawn. Let's key in $100. Here it actually says that there is a $2 wire fee that is being charged by your local bank from GoTrade. So this is just normal. These are just part of the regular fees that are part of the withdrawal process. By the way, this is a lower withdrawal fee right now. I'm sharing with you here my withdrawal from November wherein my fees were still at $4. So definitely if you're just withdrawing now, the fees are much lower. And once you're done, you can swipe and your withdrawal request will now be on the way. And about 20 to 30 minutes later, you get a confirmation that your withdrawal is already on the way. For me, it took about 3 to 5 banking days before I got it credited into my bank account. So basically, that's it. So again, that's just really two most important things that you have to get right. So number one, list your bank account number in its 12-digit form. And number two, make sure that your bank account name is also exactly matching your registered name on GoTrade. With this, you're assured your withdrawal with no penalties and only spending for the minimal withdrawal fee. If you are not yet on GoTrade, you can get $2 free when you use my referral code 
9988839. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing. If you haven't already, thanks again for watching, guys, and happy investing.